So yeah, we do some stupid awards amongst our super serious ones, like best free to play There's game of the year. There's nothing stupid about this award. Okay, <laughs> fine. It's super serious, just like all of our other awards. Um, it's best water of 2020 in a video game. Uh, I don't. I don't really. This is gonna use. take like an hour. <laughs> this was an award created to give extra celebration to Sea of Thieves. Seven yes. years ago. It's really just about how much we love the water in Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves presents can, best water. Can this award work on a King of the Hill system where if your water isn't better than Sea of Thieves, we just keep giving it to Sea of Thieves? Mm, it's three no, years old. Because last year, you, uh, I almost used a dirty word. Last year, you guys gave it to Resident Evil fucking 2. And I wasn't here to stop that shit or hit you guys with bats, and I can't let it slide. Something crazy like that shit happened in two years in a row. Okay, so what's your best water? Arbiter uh, of water. No, there's not a not a lot of great waters this year, but I think easily the best choice in a year of tough waters is Ass Valhalla. It's got some real water. Assassin's I'd like to submit, Creed Valhalla. I'd like to submit a YouTube clip as my evidence. I will dump in our Slack. Yeah. I just I I've, I've played much. You know, mine to the hitching now. and the horrible screen tearing, which is inherent in the next gen console versions of this game. But the water still come through. So you're telling me that the that, water has hitching? That's a good one. Yeah, I think this uh, no, the game good. has hitching and screen tearing. Where is this? Oh, is this an E4 channel? Yeah, it's an E4. I apologize. I'm stupid to channel okay. post. Okay, that's some good looking water. I have. It's also interactive, and then you can get into it and think yeah, about the water. And like I really enjoy bubbles. that you can actually like freeze in the water because you're. Oh, you can dive too. Yeah. yeah. And you got some bubbles shooting off of them. It's good water. That's it is good water. Okay. That's a pretty right. solid nomination, I guess. Reflection, refraction, refraction, reflection, displacement. It's got it all. Everything except for extreme cold nipple tech, which should have been in the game, considering you're in ice cold water. Yeah, considering you can freeze to death in the water, some hard nipples may have really tied that whole thing together. It's too bad a team of 19,000 different multicultural faiths and beliefs couldn't work up any nipple tech, but mm. it's the way it is. Okay, well, that's Can't a valid... that water, though. That's a valid nomination. Anyone else want to nominate a game for Best Water? There's a couple that come to mind. Okay. Uh, one of them... Demon Souls? That's Swamp. That's like the poopiest, most disgusting water that I've ever seen in the game. It's, uh, it's impressive how they heightened the, uh, the, uh, the, the, like, the... the texture of that water. Like, if you look down at any point when you're in the swamp and Demon Souls, you just feel it. You just feel the filth. It, it is heinous. There's also, um, in World 3-2, I don't know their names because those are new to the remake and I'm old, but uh, when you go down into the swamp in Latria, it, they changed it to blood, and that's just disgusting. Like, the sound effects of wading through that and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. So you can also hear the, the giant heart at, in that level, like beating in the background as you wade through, and like you can cut its organs and blood spills into the water and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, most, graf most graphically disgusting water I've seen in quite a while. But uh, oh. the other one I do want to talk about, and Asif, I'm surprised you didn't bring this up. The, uh, the liquids that they added in the update to Half Life Alex. Like, it's funny, I was actually queuing up a Half-Life Alex liquids physics video. Yeah, like, not just, like, liquids, but, like, some seriously in-depth physics for those liquids. The way the bottles react with liquid in them, like, how you can, like, throw a bottle and it actually acts different if it has liquid in it. Can mm -hmm. I see this video? Yeah, I'm putting it in the E4 channel. It just goes back to what I've been saying about this game throughout these deliberations, that there's like an insane level of detail to the environments created. Oh my gosh, the conversation, or the conversation, the condensation on that vodka bottle is great. It's, and these are just environmental things, David. These are, these are things that like really 
don't necessarily add to the story, but they make you feel <laughs> like you're in something. Like yeah, 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 yeah. It's the most, like, it seems to be the most authentic and realized environment in a VR game so far. Which, the whole yeah. selling point of VR was immersion, but I feel like very few titles have gotten there. Much I would less argue of any yet. Game, ever. Not just VR. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just saying, like... Half-Life Alex makes the cheeseburger from Resident Evil 2 look like 8-bit shit. Wow. I mean, yeah, you see, like, the you see like the, the texture distortion when you look through the liquid in the bottle. You see the refraction of light coming through the bottle. It's, it's impressive. It's really impressive what they did with that update. It is. It's, yeah, I like this a lot. But technically, it's, it's all sorts of liquids, right? It's not just water. This definitely counts. I know, I'm not arguing. You're never going to hear me argue against giving Half Life Alex an award. Yeah. Especially after whatever yesterday's that bullshit. Whatever that liquid is, it's made up of water, so that's going to count for sure. There's a water component somewhere in there. There's a water component. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking at water. I don't, uh, this isn't, I mean, it won't change my vote because this has it right now for sure, but like when you throw the bottle on the floor and it shatters, it just makes that like really generic looking splash that's kind of ugly, but otherwise, like it looks great. It mm -hmm. even simulates carbonation when you rattle the bottle around and shake yeah. it. Yeah, when you shake yeah, that's it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. damn impressive. The bubbles coming up from in, like the oxygenated bubbles coming up from when you shake the bottle. Yeah, that's so uh, that's really neat. So I'm saying no. I it wasn't that I wasn't going to nominate it, TJ. I was just I was literally googling some evidence. Ah, because I think it's it's tough. I, I, the challenge I'm finding is having to explain how Half Life is so damn cool to people who don't have VR and can't experience it themselves it's going to be a challenge throughout this whole deliberation because that's a game I want to go back there you know like there's there's games that are places Half-Life Alex is like a place that you can go to and VR definitely takes you to that place and part of that immersion is just the insane level of detail they've done to the environmental settings and water is definitely part of that it's the cheers yeah. of the VR universe gaming world Everyone yeah, knows dude. your name because your name is ha is Alex. It's in the it's title. <laughs> I gotta Google uh, Demon Souls poopy water. <laughs> You're gonna make a case for your poop water. <laughs> it, that area is now called the Swamp of Sorrow, which is pretty damn fitting. Mm -hmm. It's maybe like the second worst area in the entire franchise, but that water is something in the remake. What I call water canyon. Oh, look at that dirty water in the jug. Guys, what about SnowRunner? SnowRunner has water, but it's not on a technical level to match some of our other stuff. Although they did get an update uh, part of the way through the year that enabled uh, ice physics. So mm -hmm. where uh, they added like heavy rescue with big cranes and uh, rotators. And you would have to pull stuff that had either gone to try to go in the river and got stranded in the ice formed up around it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you would have to manage the weight of your vehicles and equipment because the ice would start to crack and you could have the truck dive in. Yeah. Very cool. But uh, on a technical level, it doesn't match these others. But the mud in SnowRunner is probably yeah. more impressive. The, the mud is pretty impressive. It's been yeah. like that for a while. In the yeah, because they, they did the mud runner games too, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, but I, yeah, I, I just, I kind of as an honorable mention, I wanted to mention the mud physics in that game. Yeah, the water stuff, like when you're in water that's not just standing or whatever, uh, if it's like a river, the way the water goes around the parts of the cars, the displacement and all that is very, very cool. Yeah. But uh, it ain't touching wine bottle 64, Half-Life Alex. Mm -hmm. um, Ozzy, did you nominate Paper Mario for this? I did, but I'm going to withdraw that because, uh, I, I mean, I guess I was taken in by the water physics, like in the, on the Eddie, on the Eddie River, and also the water elemental fight just kind of drew me in with the vortexes and like how much they make, make they make the water look like just amazing in contrast to the other textures in the game. Sort of, sort of something that just Paper Mario in that game does in general. Just the way it differentiates those textures between like what's cartoony and what's real. Mm -hmm. But 
I think I the water it doesn't doesn't impress me as much as like some of the water I've seen here in this argument. So I'm gonna I'm going to withdraw that nomination. Okay. And then who's dominating Ghost of Tsushima for this? That's a that's a weird thing, but he's you're muted. muted. Still muted. You to, <laughs> what you the hell? Un- I didn't even hit the I never hit the mute button and there it was. <laughs> muted. God damn it. It must have just been a little clicky clack. Yeah. Okay. You guys are all talking about all this crazy water, but like I'm talking about tranquil waters here, man. Like the lakes that you would sit and meditate and write haikus by, like running through water on your horse. Like you start off the game doing that. Like that's like as soon as you're done with like the tutorial opening stuff, like the first thing you do is like you take off on a horse through a lake and it looks freaking awesome. Uh, you know, the way that like you would still be a little soaked when you got off, like the water trails behind you uh, as you walk uh, out of it, things like that. It looked gorgeous and you're on an island, like you can go and look at the ocean. The ocean looks fantastic. And like the way that the like waves come up and hit like the rocks and stuff like that, it's a fantastic like visual experience to be on the island of Tsushima and experience the things like that. And I think it also plays into the fact that water like does kind of symbolize like a lot of tranquility in the game uh, in a lot of ways. So I don't know. I I thought it looked great. Uh, and w- it kind of tied into the game in interesting ways, so I gave it a nomination. I kind of like that. I like the idea of water rather than being just something, you know, some eye candy. It kind of plays into the theme and tone of the experience. Yeah. I like. I that. will say this: when you kill someone in water in Ghost of Tsushima, the blood like splatters into it and kind of dissipates. It's pretty yeah. cool looking. I was also going to bring up the beach, like, not just like on the rocks, but like the, the beach where the battle happened, and uh, the water is like hitting the bodies, and mm-hmm. it there is some the, some blood that comes off the bodies as the water hits them and then reverts, or it goes back into the full ocean. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, I, I definitely it's it's good. Is it the best? I don't know. Um, you know, it's a matter of opinion. That's why we vote. Yeah. And the <laughs> other nomin who nominated Town Scraper? Nobody, apparently. So I guess we can say like anybody that's here. I don't think anybody that's here, but that game has really, really pretty water. Oh damn. I was about to say more like Town Skipper, but it sounds like we're talking about it. Town scrape, townscaper. Let's build a town on water. Okay, I'm looking at this video. It's just a single color. Yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? This I mean, isn't... it just it's for for what the game is. It looks really good. It's the only reason it I could see someone possibly, possibly. I didn't nominate it. I'm just saying, like, it looks really good. Like for what the game is. Here's a video be. for the folks who haven't seen it. But yeah, the that's... reflection and the uh, and the water like bouncing off the buildings as you plop them into place is kind of fun to watch. Yeah, sure. That looks. There's no way though, not in no. this cat. No. no. No, I mean I'm not like I'm not sitting here arguing it for it. I didn't nominate it, but since whoever nominated it isn't here, I thought I would say a good word about it. I bet I think you did nominate it, and then like you're just like, I didn't trying actually. to play it down now that everybody hates it so much. Okay, just are we not. ready to vote? <laughs> we are. I think we are. Yes. Think we are. Okay, so for best water, what we got? I'm gonna Forget go with about. Half-Life. Yeah. Forget about Freeman, aka Half Life Alex. It's on Half Life. Yeah. DJ. Uh, I'm going Half Life, Alex, but I do stand by my my statement that Demon Souls water. is the poopiest, most disgusting water oh. I've ever seen in the game. <laughs> Poop Water Junction. Or remember, it, it is medicine. it is literally shit. Like it's in an area where all yeah. the waste of the world goes. Yeah, best mm-hmm. shit. Best poop. Yeah, best poop I'll water. Say, I'll say Half Life. Ozzy's saying Half Life. Uh, I'll write. I'll write best poopy water. 
if we I am definitely I was I was pretty much I was on team Valhalla but I was very impressed the most uh, impressive thing today for me for water was definitely Half-Life Alex. so that's for me Half-Life Alex. Mm, okay Donovan's not here Sam's not here Blake you gonna vote for Ghost of Tsushima um I might as well stand by my man Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do agree, like, that what I, you know, looking at the water, the liquid physics in Half-Life Alex is pretty damn impressive what they did there, but, you know, I made a nomination, and I'm sticking to it. So, there you go. Mm-hmm. Steve? I think I'm gonna go with Valhalla, but not by much between that and Half-Life that's all okay. Greg? Uh, I'm gonna go with, I mean, I did Blake's video review for Ghost of Tsushima, and whenever he stopped to do a haiku or go in that spa, like, <laughs> it looked really good. The water looked really, really good. Um, like, the only reason I would vote for that over Alex is because Alex water in the bottles looks fantastic, but then the second it gets out of the bottle, it's just a generic splash. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Sam isn't here. Chris. Losing with the combine. Wait, what? I pick up that Half can. Life. Oh, <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Sam, Dom, Josh. Uh, Half Life, man. Those, those liquid physics are amazing. Wow. How about that? We're actually going to give Half Life an award. Isn't that neat? Oh, we already. I know. Nobody tell Jeff oh, Keeley. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, no one told Jeff. Okay, well, Ghost of Tsushima got a couple of votes, but there, even if Sam and Donovan voted for it, there's no way. Uh, Half Life Alex has our best water of 2020 because Sea of Thieves couldn't win. <laughs> <laughs>